Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dinkum video. So in my previous video I did a guide on how to catch all the bugs for the museum. But in this video we're going to be covering the fish. So I've separated all of the fish in their own categories of the habitat that they can be caught. And similar to the bugs I've got day, anytime and night as well. First of all we're going to start with the rivers habitat. So in the rivers habitat we've got two fish that can be caught in the morning time which is a golden perch and the Murray cod. Golden perch can be caught in the spring and the cod can be caught in winter or spring. Now the rest of the fish here in that can be caught in the river's habitat, they can all be caught at any time during the day. So we've got the barramundi, which can be caught in autumn, winter and spring. We've got the galaxis, can only be caught in the winter. We have the barco grunter, which can be caught any time in any season of the year. We have the carp that can also be caught any time in any season of the year. We've got the jungle perch that can also be caught any season. And then lastly, we have the river bass that can be caught in summer and spring. And we have the silver perch, which can be caught in autumn or winter. So the next habitat we're going to cover is the mangroves. Now there's only three fish that can be caught in the mangroves. We've got the eel tailed catfish and the mangrove jack. Both can be caught any time in any season of the year and then we've got the booth head catfish which can be only caught at night during summer autumn and spring the next habitat we're going to cover is the billabongs so there's one fish here which can be caught during the daytime which is the, the grayling that can be caught in autumn or winter we've got three over here that can be caught any time during the day we've got the tarpoon and the bony tongue which can be caught in any season of the year and then we've got the blackfish there at the back which can be caught during spring. Now lastly, for the billabongs, we've got two fish that can be caught only during the night time. We've got the short-finned eel here on the right-hand side, which can be caught any season. And then we've got the saratoga, which can be caught during summer and autumn. Now next, we have four fish that can be caught in the southern ocean. There are more than four fish that can be caught in the southern ocean, but they are more common in the northern ocean, so I've put them over the northern ocean category. But over here, all we have on the right-hand side, we have the blobfish and the anchovy. So the blobfish can be caught at night time during autumn or winter, and the same with the anchovy, that can be caught autumn and winter. That can be caught at night time or during the morning, but it's easier to catch them at night. And then over here at the back, we have the goatfish, which can be caught during summer and spring any time during the day. Now this big one over here, which is the marlin, we can catch this in autumn and winter during the daytime in the Southern Ocean. Now over here on its own, we've got a special fish. There's only one location it can be caught, but it can be caught any time of the year and any time of the day. And this can be caught in your deep mines. Now this one here is actually one that I didn't know about myself either. I never thought about taking my fishing rod down to the mines when I'm mining but this just goes to show there are hidden types of fish and also you've got the glow bugs down in the mines as well but they are more common and a bit obvious to see. So next time you travel down your mines don't forget to take your fishing rod and catch yourself one of these deep fish. Now over here I had to kind of make a separate area for this one because there's so many fish and this is the northern ocean. Now as you can see by the spreadsheet on my screen we have quite a few that can be caught in the southern ocean as well but they are more common in the northern oceans so over here on the left hand side we have the blue spotted flathead the eye striped surgeon fish and the luderick these can all be caught during the daytime the luderick can only be caught in winter and then your blue spot flathead and your eye striped surgeon fish can both be caught during summer and spring and on the rare occasion the flathead can be caught in the autumn time. Now these five fish over here can all be caught any time during the day. We've got the banded morowong which can only be caught in winter. We have the garfish which can be caught in winter and spring. We have the bluefish which can be caught at any time of the year and we have the traveller which can be caught during autumn and spring. Now over here on the right hand side we have the ones that can be caught during the night time. We have the stingray there on the right hand side which can be caught in the summer and the autumn. We have the barracuda on the left hand side which can be caught in the summer, autumn and the spring. And then lastly we have the yellow fin tuna which is this big one right here. That can be caught during the night time but also early hours in the morning during autumn and spring. But there we are everyone that is is all 35 fish that you can currently catch in the game to help complete your museum. Now I do recommend as well using your fish book, especially when you're fishing. When you're roaming around the rivers, the 
billabongs or the ocean on your boat or however you decide to travel the ocean just make sure you've got your book to hand and you open it up and you can see what fish you have caught and what you haven't caught and also if you're catching fish for money it also tells you how much they're worth as well so over in the northern ocean during the night time during the autumn and spring the best of the fish to go fishing for is the yellowfin tuna they're worth the most amount of money at 24,600 dinks so if you are fishing around that time definitely head over to the northern oceans and grab yourself some yellowfin tuna if you are wondering how to get the fish book and the bug book i have got a video guiding you through that process and how to get them i'll leave that link down in the description below but if you did like this video and found it helpful make sure you drop that like button let me know down in the comments how you are getting on with your fishing and your bug catching for the museum and also make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more content thank you all for watching i will see you in the next video